Okay, so I wrote this question, and I know it's ridiculous, but um, as we work through it, uh, let's acknowledge that, talk about why it's a little ridiculous, and then deal with the problem itself. So first of all, it's a Shaw had a container of fudge. So I have this container of fudge, right? And it says that I take that fudge and I pour it evenly into 20 barrels. So already, really, like this is not happening. So I'll, I'll just, like, let's take a look at this. If I draw five barrels and I'll copy it, Let's make 20 barrels, just so we can really just acknowledge, you know what, this is ridiculous, and I know that. Okay, so 15, 20 barrels, all right. These are our barrels, so, right, and I should have drawn fudge in each of them, but, but I think you'll get the point. So here, right, we're, this fudge, I'll make it blue, because this problem is already ridiculous enough, doesn't really matter, right? So this fudge right here, we have some volume, we're pouring it into each of the barrels. And the question is, if we know that the volume of each barrel is a certain number, how much fudge was there to begin with? So you can see that the premise itself is absurd, right? But we're, we're saying, look, you can solve this absurd problem anyway. We're told that this uh, volume in this barrel is 2.44 times 10 to the negative 6 kiloliters KL. And that's ridiculous too because I'm sure if we look at the actual volumes of most barrels, it doesn't match this kind of a schematic of being in terms of kiloliters and so on and so forth. But anyway, let's deal with this problem. Um, this ridiculous problem. So how do we do it? Well, you know, you could take the volume of one barrel and add it 20 times to go back to the original, or you could just say, all right, what is 2.44, the volume of one barrel, times 20? 2.44 times 10 to the negative six, so let's do that. And that will equal what's in this fudge container here. So 2.44, times 10 to the negative 6 times 20, and I, I'm going to write that in, in scientific notation. So 2 times 2.44 is 4.88 times 10 to what? Well, this is 10 to the first, 10 to the negative 6. We're multiplying, we add the exponents, and we get negative fifth. So this is the volume of the original fudge that is contained here. It's in kiloliters. So that's our answer, 4.88 times 10 to the negative fifth. But again, just acknowledging, kind of ridiculous problem, and that's okay. Um, I could have written a better problem, but sometimes I think it's important to deal with this kind of garbage so we understand that our mathematics can deal with any scenario as ludicrous or as abstract, or in this case, ridiculous as it might be. Thank you.